<laughs> no hair, no hair, I have no hair. Skinny jeans aren't meant for thick bitches. I can make a muscle tee out of this. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Getting ready right now is so difficult. I had to unbutton my pants. They were too tight. Skinny jeans aren't meant for thick bitches. I just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you heard that, but that was crazy. That was my hip popping. I don't really wear skinny jeans often anymore. And it's literally for this reason. One, I have sensory issues and I don't like the feeling of the jeans so tight all the way down my leg. It makes me itch for some reason. Second, I literally have to do the Olympics just to get started to wear these pants. I literally have... You know what I'm saying? Fuck it in. I'm sweating. Hello and hello, welcome back to Time with Sally or welcome to Time with Sally if you've never been on my channel before. Today's video, I will be bringing you all with me to a hair appointment with my hairstylist Camry. A lot of you have requested more beauty content on my Instagram, so if you do not have me on Instagram, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't wait to see you all over there. That is where I mostly post on my stories, any requests that you guys may have. You get to submit, you know, any ideas that you may have that you want to see on my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yo, don't be me. I'm over here just trying to make a quick breakfast because I literally have 20 minutes before I have to leave. I was gonna make some scrambled eggs and a protein shake really just quick. <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah, love this. And some of y'all know how expensive protein powder is. That's at least $17 down the drain. Y'all know me, I'm gonna scoop it up, I don't give a fuck. This is my girl, Camry. She's my hairstylist. She has been for, I don't even know how long now. It's, I know. It's been years. She's amazing. I love her. And we've actually become friends. You want that with your hairstylist, just Absolutely. saying. And so I will be putting her socials and everything that you need to know about her in the description box below in case he wants to, you know, book a console or an appointment or something, period. So today we're actually going to be doing this cute thing that was suggested to me on my Instagram. We are going to be answering men's questions that you're too afraid to ask. We're gonna give you the truth. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I have so much tea to freaking fill you in on too. Really? Mm-hmm. <gasps> we're hot messes. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? ready? Questions men are too scared to ask women. What's with all the pillows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they just look I, good. They look good, but also, like, do you sleep with all the pillows? No, I throw them on the floor. I'm going to sound crazy, but okay. I, I hate sleeping by myself, so my kids sleep in my bed, so I literally take the pillows and, like, put them you around my <laughs> <laughs> the barricade is crazy. <laughs> so to answer that question, we don't know. It's just, it's an aesthetic thing, okay? It's an aesthetic thing. Yeah. How can I help someone who's having a really bad time during their period? Oh my God, I haven't had my period in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you need to relax because this, she has like seven children. Oh I don't God. trust her when she says those things. <laughs> to answer that question, I would say the best thing to do with someone that is having their period, ask them what they want. For the most part, I think for me, it's either stay the hell away from me or cuddle me up something crazy. Get me whatever food I'm craving, get me whatever heat pack I want. Be supportive, understand that there will be mood swings because that is very much a thing. Your hormones are going crazy and a lot of times we, it's our reality in that moment. Genuinely, if I'm freaking out and I'm mad about something, I probably don't even realize how I'm actually acting because my hormones are really just in control in that moment. I would say just try to be understanding of that, have a little bit of patience and everything should be okay. I agree. Everybody's period is different and everybody's symptoms um, are going to be different. So 
I would say just base it off of the woman. Get to know your woman. Yes. Period. Do you actually like it when a man approaches you with the intention of asking you on a date? See, I'm the wrong one to ask that question. <laughs> I'm taking for so long. She, she has... I'm like, get the hell away from me. Right, right, right. <laughs> so she's in a relationship, so that's a different story. I would say for me, I have no problem with someone asking me out on a date to get to know me. I think it really all has to do with like the approach and the delivery. A lot of men are going to be upset about this. But it's the truth, and obviously the same goes for you as well. It only really would work if your approach and delivery is correct if you are still someone I want to go on a date with or someone I see myself attracted to. But if I'm not attracted to you at first and I haven't even had a conversation with you yet, most likely that's not going to go your way. Even actually if you are very attractive, if you just automatically ask me on a date, I'm the type of person I want to get to know you first a little bit. Do you change your pads when it's full, half, or even a tiny bit full? Oh, God! <laughs> Personally, I don't really wear pads anymore. I can't go to the bathroom and not change my pad, pant, like whatever it is. It has mm -hmm. to get changed for me because I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, You know? So I just checked my mic because a voice in my head told me to check, check it. it. The intuition's crazy, y'all. Yeah, you. thank God I checked it. Okay, anyways, mics should be working now. Do you admire a guy after he chooses to be vulnerable and bear it all in front of you? I do. I actually have never been hornier. <laughs> <laughs> then when after one of my boyfriends actually like opened up and like cried in front of me and I was like damn girl this is not the time to be feeling this <laughs> but I think it's because unfortunately it's just like that whole aspect of the bare minimum being glorified when a man is not emotionally available and then when you finally are it makes you like ooh, like you trusted me enough to cry in front of me I love that too I love it but I will say that there is certain extents to it um don't be a Hi, baby. Be Here's vulnerable. Like... Be vulnerable. Be open with your woman. I think that is one of the most sexiest, most attractive things ever. And most women, they believe that. But I think that there's a certain extent to it where you don't want to be a crybaby all the time. But guess what? That's because we also can't be crybabies all the time. Like as a mother, as a parent, as a business owner, as, you know, a grown ass woman, we can't be crybabies all the time. And that's perfectly normal. It's called emotional regulation. It's called emotional discipline. Yeah. So of course we don't want someone that's always crying at every, you know, beck and call of any little inconvenience because as a man, if I want you to, you know, be the leader of the household, I need to be able to depend on you when things get rough. Um, and same vice versa. If you ever have a hard time, you need to be able to depend on me. We're just trying to avoid things into an extreme. We don't want someone that's always crying, but we also don't want someone that's always like completely emotionally shut off. Yeah, exactly. Quick story time. There was this guy that I was talking to for a couple of weeks and long story short, we went on a walk like around the beach after the date. Next thing you know, he starts venting to me about like his life. He starts full blown crying, crying like <gasps> hyperventilating, crying to me, oh venting about his life, his financial issues, like whatever. This was like the first date. He ghosted me after that date, mind you. I still kept trying to like talk to him because obviously I'm like, you know what? People have hard times, like whatever. Like I'm a big second chance person, honestly. But once you fuck up the second chance, you're done for. And every time he sees me out now, he like completely avoids me. Maybe I think he was just embarrassed. embarrassed. Yeah, I think he was embarrassed, but like he literally had nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah, it was a first date and it wasn't very awkward for me. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I could do this again, but it wasn't because you bared it all. It's because you have other stuff to focus on right now, right. clearly. You know what I'm saying? Next question, how do you smell so good all the damn time? I actually wipe my ass. Uh, I was just about <laughs> to say, good hygiene. <laughs> There's nothing, I personally, I find nothing wrong with a man, you know, getting his like clear coat done, his nails done. I have nothing wrong with the guy always having his hair cuts done, his eyebrows done, oh, like thing. being lotioned up. One of the biggest traits that I find very attractive is you can tell that they put a lot of work into taking care of themselves. Buy good cologne, ask girls around you what they like. What is the best way to ask you out on a date? I would say for me, and I think you might agree, taking initiative is the biggest part. Yeah. Take initiative when you're asking a girl out. You set the date, you set the time, you set the place. Obviously, if you wanna to talk to her about it and be like, hey, like, is there something that you're interested in? What kind of food are you into? What kind of activity would you be into? Or if you give her options, maybe. I know women kind of suck at making decisions at times <laughs> and like picking things, but if you at least put in a little bit of effort to see like what she likes and then you go from there, and you pick the date, pick the time, say you're gonna pick her up or if she's more comfortable, you know, meeting you there. I think that's what women love. It's really not about the big extravagant restaurants and fancy shit. It's really just more so. Get the time to know what she wants. Exactly. And, she and put in the effort to show her, you know what, I really wanna do this with you. I'm gonna take out all the energy for you to make a decision and take the lead. 
And I have to say that goes for even people that are in relationships. Absolutely, 100%. Because a lot of times I feel like that light can dim, you know? Absolutely. It's, like, it's really important when you're in a relationship to keep pursuing your partner, keep chasing your partner, and yes. keep making it feel like when you guys were first dating. Exactly. Because it's so easy to get lost. Uh-huh. Especially when you have kids. Oh, yeah. What do women check out on men? <laughs> your butt. <laughs> I love my man's butt. And he hates when I touch it. He no. He's so offended. I'm like, but it's, I love it. I don't care about height. People always think that women are so obsessed with height. I personally, I really, I love a short king too. I, as long as you're like my height, I think. Yeah, if you're, as long as you're taller, I think. Right? Yeah, I think it's like you're like my height. Or even like, I wouldn't even mind a guy that's like my eyebrow height. I don't care. As long as you're not like all the way down here, I feel like, because I personally, not that I'm a tall woman, but I'm a big woman naturally. If I want to feel a little bit more, petite. you know, a little bit more like petite feminine, you know what I mean? Like yeah. someone can really like, I don't know, maybe rough house. house. Really? Can you pick me up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Period. But I would say like the first things I notice for me is I love a man with certain facial features. So for me, I like the feminine features. I'm not even gonna lie. I love high cheekbones. I like strong jaw lines. I yeah. like nice lips, nice facial hair. I feel like it's teeth. Teeth, oh, that's a big one. Can't look at you when you smile. See you later. <laughs> when you're obviously not fine, but you get mad at us when we try to help. Maybe I you're the problem. <laughs> a lot of us expect men to know what's wrong with us though too. Oh, yeah. But it's also because men use this thing called weaponizing competence where you try to pretend like you're stupid and you're, use your stupidity like, oh, I didn't know as an excuse to bad behavior. So let's be honest here, let's be clear. You knew what you were doing. You knew it would piss me off, but you did it anyways. And then you decide to say, I don't know as an excuse to make you not get in trouble. It's not okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Honestly, oh. I like, like, I get so, like, I'm the type of person, I like attention, so if you're not paying attention to me, like, I get aggravated. If I'm not getting attention, I get mad, and then when you come ask me, like, can I help, like, do you need something, or like, whatever. I'm like, oh, now you want to pay attention now to me. Now you want to pay attention to me. <laughs> this is what it takes, y'all. This is what it takes. Right? Scientists at work over here. <laughs> Bleach on my hands. You're so much deeper when you quit pain charade. No hair, no hair, I have no hair. Imagine. I look like an egghead, that's crazy. <laughs> if you have pierced nipples, the milk also comes out of the holes of the piercings. Yes. Ah, no way, really? Yeah, so instead of just like milk coming out both sides, it comes out like three ways. What the hell? Yeah. My boobs are so engorged, like yeah. from not feeding all day. I get home and I'm feeding him and literally he's like trying to keep up with all the milk coming out and then he comes off and looks at me and it's just squirting in the face. Oh my God. He's going like this. <laughs> all right, y'all, this is what my hair is looking like. Honestly, this is a great color. Let's keep it like this. Does size really matter? To a certain extent it does, but most women honestly don't need more than five increments. Increments. <laughs> Um, it really just more so depends on like, what can you do with it? What can you do before it? I agree. Yeah, okay. What's the proper answer to, does this dress make me look fat? Don't lie. You can always just maybe suggest something different. Say, honestly, I'm gonna be straight up with you. You are gorgeous, you are beautiful, I love your body, but I don't feel like this is doing anything for you. Let's do this one instead, or let's do something else. Let me help you figure it out. I would honestly, respect that more. Why do you always go for bad boys? Oh God. I'm not gonna sit here and say that all women don't go for bad boys because there definitely are women that actually, they fetishize toxicity. They absolutely do 100%. There are women out there that love that. I personally don't. I think what women love about toxic men is unpredictability. It's the possessiveness that they show, the fake jealousy, well, actual jealousy in a toxic man. It's the reassurance in knowing that they want you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Women love a nice guy that also possesses those traits. It's just unfortunately a lot of the times you see those traits more so in toxic men than you do, I feel like, in nice guys. Because nice guys are not the types to really stand on those boundaries and say certain things because they still want to fully respect their woman as an independent being and human. Yeah. Period. Agree. I think I said that really nicely. That Period. Well said. I, wow. Can't even add to it. <laughs> Does playing with the girls help? I don't have them, so I don't have them. So. I have one big girl. <laughs> Me personally, it does. 
but every woman is different. Very different. Get to know your woman. I'm not gonna say it again, bye. Yeah. Okay, ooh, why is it that when I get excited about a subject I'm passionate about, I sometimes get accused of mansplaining? It's really about not interrupting the other person when they're talking and taking over the entire conversation. I hate when a man tries to mansplain to me because it's like you're trying to explain something to me from an area in which that you think I don't know any better. Like I'm dumb. You're trying to teach me something because you know better. Right. And that's where mansplaining kind of comes into play. But if you're passionate about something, a lot of women, I think you will second this, we love to hear men talk about the things that they're excited about and passionate about. Like it's so nice to see that little glimmer in their eye yeah. when they get excited about stuff. Don't interrupt someone. Don't think that you you know better than them. And don't try to put them down if they may, may not know better than you. Agree. Oh, someone said, how do we become friends with y'all? Um, don't try to get in our pants. Mm -hmm. Be Period. respectful. Mm -hmm. And, and... Yeah? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Just try to be friends with them. Don't make it weird. Be respectful. Yeah. And make it clear that that's all you want. Right. Because also some women will also sit there and if you're trying to hang out with them, if they don't know any better, and let's say they are interested in you, they may want or they may actually think that you being nice to them is flirting or shooting your shots at them. So, just be open and honest. Yeah, just yes. communicate that. What should I do when someone's period stain is showing and they seem oblivious to it? Go whisper in their ear, let them know, be nice. Yeah. And if you have a sweatshirt that you don't care about, give them your sweatshirt to oh, cover with. Yes. You're so much deeper when you quit paying charades. Yeah. You act so cool, but underneath you seem afraid. Ooh. There's something sweet about your eyes when you feel safe yeah. You keep running away Owe it to yourself, to there Just try to open up and show someone you care It might not be intentional, but you seem scared Just try to open up and let it lead somewhere Breathe in some love and let yourself on Ready? Uh Do you like it? I love it. It's perfect. Doesn't it's it look like the pictures? It literally is exactly what I've been wanting. Yeah. Exactly what I've been wanting. And you're right, it doesn't look as fake as you would think. It looks like oh, nice on your skin tone and everything. That. Oh. Everybody, say thank you to Camry for joining us. I will put all her stuff in the description down below. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for spending time with me. Love you. Bye. Ella puso un casting para los que evalúan